In this video, we are going to take a look at how do we create a Spring Boot project. There are two ways that you can create a new project. One, by using Initializer. So here is a great website, which basically allows you to select some options. For example, if your project is going to be Maven based or Gradle project, what language you want to use for this project. In our case, we're going to be using Groovy. We're going to use this 2.5.5 Spring Boot version. And here you can specify project metadata. For example, what is going to be your group, artifact, name, description, package name, packaging. We can select the Java version as well. Here we can add some dependencies. You can use this Spring Initializer, which is great, but we're going to be using a tool called IntelliJ for this course, which has a first class support for Spring Boot or Spring Framework. I would highly recommend to use IntelliJ or any other IDE for your Spring development. Visit jetbrains.com slash idea. This is where you can download IntelliJ. I've already had IntelliJ installed on a Mac. I'm going to click on new project. Here we have multiple options. One of them is Spring Initializer. It's the same as creating a project using this website, but you can create a new project using IntelliJ IDEA right here. I'm going to name this Spring Tutorial, select Groovy, Gradle, and here I'll name it. And this is the project that we'll be using throughout this tutorial series. Click on Next. We're going to select some dependencies here. We are going to use this Spring Boot DevTools, go to Web, and then select Spring Web. I'm going to click on Finish, and this is going to create a new project for us. IntelliJ is going to do some code formatting and indexing of the project, so wait for that to finish. Project indexing is done. You will see Griddle build successful. If you have used JetBrains IDEs in the past, then you will feel right at home. I'll give you a quick walkthrough of user interface of IntelliJ. Here we have a tool window. We can run the application by clicking on this play button, or you can debug that by clicking on that debug button. On the right, we have a Gradle tool window where you'll see all the tasks available. On the left, we have a project window where we'll see all the file structure of the project. We'll take a look at files of Spring Boot in the next video, but I'm going to open one of the main files, which is basically an entry point for Spring Boot application which is Spring Tutorial Application. How do we know about this? Is because of this annotation, at Spring Boot Application. That tells the Gradle that this is the main entry point. I'm gonna click on the play button and it's gonna start building and it will run our Spring Boot Application. So let's just wait for that to finish. There you go, our project is running and you can see in a terminal, we have a Spring Boot. In the next video, let's take a look at the file structure of a Spring project.